Bilman Laboratories is a Swiss in vitro diagnostics company based in Basel and it was founded in 1976. During the course of the years, the company evolved. It uh, became bigger and uh, made itself a very respected name in the in vitro diagnosis uh, business, especially for niche products. We at Bilman are very proud, really, that uh, we were able to set uh, standards and innovations in the medical field in various uh, uh, regions of research and of diagnosis. I would mention neuroimmunology. I would definitely mention allergy where we uh, offer the Flowcast uh, systems, that's basophil activation tests that provide the best sensitivity and specificity for food allergies, for example. This is important because uh, bear in mind that uh, food allergies can quite frequently be mistaken for IBD or IBS. And of course, IBD is our major uh, area of attention. There, first of all, we um, uh, produced and now market uh, the most reliable ELISA uh, available. It has been kept unchanged since 2007. It has a very wide measuring range, which uh, allows for either doing IBD and IBS screening diagnostics, but also it allows to um, perform uh, therapy follow-up for IBD patients, which is a very important field of uh, activity. Um, more recently, we developed and marketed the only uh, quantitative uh, carpotectin rapid assay, the so-called uh, carpotectin quantum blue assays, and uh, very successfully by combination of these two uh, technologies, really, Billman has uh, become uh, a leader and uh, setting new standards for IBD diagnosis. Inflammatory bowel disease is a chronic disease that affects about 2 million people in European uh, countries. It comprises Crohn's disease and also the colitis. And, and uh, these are two chronic uh, diseases that need close follow-up and treatment and, and uh, sometimes can be uh, debilitating diseases. However, thanks to modern medicine, uh, the prognosis of IBD uh, over the last 10 to 15 years has changed dramatically. So such patient today can expect uh, to live and enjoy a normal life. Calprotectin is a small molecule that comes from inflammatory cells called neutrophils. It is actually the most abundant protein in these cells and it's in fact just the same amount of calprotectin in neutrophils as hemoglobin in the red blood cell. Uh, this protein is remarkably stable uh, so that the patient can do a fecal sample at home, send it by ordinary mail to the laboratory for determination of, of uh, calprotectin. And now calprotectin, as a matter of fact, has now been has made it into the guidelines uh, of good clinical practice. Uh, made by the European Crohn and Colitis Organization. The use of calprotectin is now in the guidelines of good clinical practice adopted by the European uh, Crohn and Colitis Organization. Calprotectin is a very simple and uh, inexpensive test to run and we use it to differentiate IBS from IBD. That means that uh, patients with uh, abdominal discomfort it's very useful to use calprotectin to identify those patients that needs a colonoscopy. Um, as a matter of fact, in my hospital, we use it in all such patients to make sure that we don't overlook IBD. And, and a lot of clinicians still believe that IBD is a rare disorder, but as a matter of fact, uh, it affects about 1% of the population, which is the same as diabetes type 1, that is insulin-dependent diabetes. Um, furthermore, we know that calprotectin correlates very nicely with the endoscopic appearance of, uh, of inflammation in IBD patients. That means that we can use calprotectin to follow disease activity without having to do colonoscopy. And you know that patients really hate colonoscopy and we should not to forget that it's also a very costly procedure to do. It has been a goal for gastroenterologists to identify a patient that will soon have a relapse. And we know that calprotectin starts to increase weeks and months before it will be a clinical relevant relapse. Uh, that's why in my hospital we follow the patients, with a st we ask them to send us a stool test every three to four months. And if we see an elevated level, we contact the patient for further follow-up. We today have a, a, an alternative. Billman has developed a quantitative rapid test, 
where the patient come, can come directly to the outpatient clinic with the stool sample and the IBD nurse will run a test and we will get the result within 15 to 20 minutes which will be equally accurate as the one that is sent off for ELISA. Buman Laboratories, by providing on one hand side the ELISA for carprotectin and on the other side the uh, quantum blue rapid test for carprotectin, has evolved into the leading in vitro diagnostics company in this field within the last five years. We also look into the future. Our goal is to work on the assays, to simplify them, to eventually reach a stage where we will be more patient near. The quality that we provide, uh, which is our fundament really, is, is based in a Swiss tradition, our so-called uh, Swiss uh, high-tech heritage, which is, as we think, nicely symbolized by our company mascot, the St. Bernard Dog. And just like the St. Bernard Dog, uh, Bulma Laboratories uh, reflects these uh, being uh, reliable, competent, uh, unique and independent company.